Hello, hello. I am here uh, from the comfort of Chez Moi, and we're going to go over the last problem from section 3.3. This is the section on intercepts. The last problem in the, the uh, lecture online is going to be this problem, which was exam example number eight from the book. Using information about a 2010 Toyota Prius hybrid, we can set up this equation, 12M plus 600G equals 7200, where M represents the number of miles driven and G represents the number of gallons of gas left in the tank. Find the intercepts for this line and explain what they represent. And so since we are being asked... Here we go. We are being asked about the intercepts. I know it's been a couple weeks, but let's remember that that's going to mean that we're going to want to find out what happens when m equals 0 or when g equals 0. So m equals 0 is the number of miles driven. So this will be that you haven't driven any miles yet. I will have 12 times 0 plus 600 g equals 7200. Now 12 times 0 is 0, so we get 0 plus 600g equals 7200. And then I'm going to totally cheat because I realized I did not give myself enough room, so I'm going to tuck this guy down there. And I'm going to continue. If 600g equals 7200, then 600G divided by 600 has got to be 7200 divided by 600. I'm going to tuck this G equals 0 down even further. Maybe even have to put that on the next page. And then I get G equals 12. So when I have driven 0 miles... Then my G is 12, and that's the number of gallons in the tank, which means that the tank holds 12 gallons of gas. Okay, it's pretty clear that I'm not going to have any space, so let me go to the next page for what happens when we've got g equals zero and i'm gonna very quickly take a picture of this there we go and let's go ahead and make another page Woohoo! okay so for this page i'm going to rewrite the same problem 12m plus 600g equals 7200 but this time I'm going to set G equal to zero. So I've got 12 M plus 600 times zero equals 7,200. That means that 12 M plus zero equals 7,200 or 12 M equals 7,200. And then what I'm going to do is because I've got 12 times M, I'll divide by 12. To isolate the M, so that leaves me with M equals, and then I've got to do some work in my head. I believe that's 600, and remember that M was the number of miles, and this is when, so this is 600 miles when what was happening? when g is zero. So in other words, the tank is empty. Which means that if we drive on the full 12 gallons of gas that fit in the car, we can make it 600 miles. So this is the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The total range of the car on a full tank, full tank of gas. Woohoo!